this is Angela with Angela Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I've been out of pocket. Uh, I've been out of town visiting my parents. Uh, Ava and I spent about five days in Louisiana. And the whole time I was there, I was so concerned about my vegetables and my chickens and what have you. Uh, but apparently it looked like it uh, got some rain here. So everything's not looking too bad, but I just thought I'd take you guys along and let you see how the balcony garden is coming along as well as the backyard garden. And uh, also I would like to share with you some pictures, uh, some things that we've done while in Louisiana uh, just to share with you. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see what the balcony garden is looking like. As you can see here, guys, my morning glory and moon glow flowers, they have vined up this uh, pole here. Um, I haven't seen any flowers as of yet, uh, but it is just vining and just going up and up. So hopefully there'll be some flowers uh, soon. The collards are growing and getting tall. I've had some leaf damage. It looked like it's time for me to spray again or throw on some more of the garden dust on these flowers there in the back have really grown tall I see I can do some harvesting there are a few tomatoes in here that are ripe that I need to get. I harvest it from this uh, spearmint. So normally when I harvest, I usually give it a little 511 uh, and they usually come back pretty nice. Here are my zinnias. Down here is my kale. And as you can see, it's growing beautifully. That white powder stuff that you see, that's some garden dust. My Gerbera daisies are doing beautifully. This one has uh, the orange and the yellow flowers. Strawberries are still coming in. And these are the seascape strawberries. And you see they're coming in very nicely. And I'm sure there's some all around. This uh, strawberry um, plant here, they have all just been um, producing strawberries um, all spring and summer long. Here's another collard plant. You see the garden dust on it. Uh, but this is a tomato plant that has really gotten tall. This is the trellis that it came in and it has really surpassed the trellis. Before I went out of town, I think I harvested about a couple of tomatoes off of it, but I'm waiting for some more new growth to come on it. Here's another um, kale. And you can see how I was getting so much damage uh, by the bugs, but as you can see here, the top is still growing, so. I'm going to continue to uh, put something on it to try to keep the bugs at bay. This is my tower of herbs, and they are going beautifully, growing beautifully. I've been doing a lot of harvesting from them. More flowers. And would you take a look at my lemon plant? that I got from the Bull's Garden. Let me bring it out so you can take a look at how it has really grown. You can see there it's in this yellow pot. It's put on a lot of foliage. And then over here, this is July, so the crepe myrtle 
is in bloom and it always cascades over this balcony. More flowers. I decided to put two bell peppers in this pot here and it is growing. It has, might have should have only just put one but put two in there. And then in this pot, I have some zinnias, I have some marigolds, and I have some habanero peppers. And you see the habanero peppers are coming in. They just haven't turned orange as of yet. More flowers here on the table. Swiss chard. It's looking really nice. I've harvested from it several times. I have an aloe vera here. Another pepper here. Some more zinnias over there. And this is my Texas star hibiscus. And it is at least six feet tall now. And I know very soon I'm seeing little buds for flowers. So I can't wait for that. Then over here, I have my rosemary here. I have some petunias down here. Another pepper. Here is my elderberry bush and my moringa look at all this moringa guys i can now begin harvesting from my moringa and i'm going to dry it and use it for teas and some of the leaves i'm probably just going to throw in a salad but this is how everything is looking in july today is july 21st of 2022. I have lots of vegetables growing in between lots of flowers and pollinators um, to attract pollinators to the garden. Now let's go take a look at the backyard garden. Okay, so now we are in the backyard garden, and the first thing I have growing here is pumpkin, but I have not seen, it's been having lots of flowers, but I have not seen any pumpkin as of yet. They've all been male flowers so far. But here I have my sugar baby watermelon and they are putting on little babies. Here is a cantaloupe, and it's just starting to run. Over here, I have my Jubilee watermelon, and I haven't seen anything as of yet but I've been seeing several flowers. Uh, but look like mostly I've been getting nothing but male flowers. In this one, I have my honeydew melon. And I think I might have seen one or two little small melons on here. Let me see. Yes. Yeah. See right there, there's one. Oh, two. And then there's one here. Here I have lots of peppers. Just waiting for them to get just a little bit bigger. You see that bell pepper there? And these are my hot peppers here. And they are really growing beautifully. 
I don't see anything just yet on them. More peppers over here, tomatoes, what have you. Squash, nothing is producing on the squash. Uh, I'm not sure if I should just pull it out or fertilize it and give it a little more time to see what it'll do. Over here I have more tomatoes growing. Here is my um, calamondin, and as you can see, it's starting to flower. Here's my okra. I've got uh, four in these buckets, and another four over here. Over here, I have more peppers. And I think some of these are the jalapeno peppers. Here's more peppers over here. These can be harvested. My jalapeno peppers. This is my banana plant. I've got the zucchini, some tomatoes, and I think there's a cucumber that has gotten everything all tangled up and has wrapped itself, look like, around these other plants. More tomatoes over here. Over here, I have my sweet potatoes that have started vining and my okra in the back have started, well, it looks like it's about a foot, a foot and a half tall now. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do now is uh, collect my eggs and uh, come back with you. Okay, this is what I have collected from the three small coops. Now I'm going to go in here and see what the other girls have done here. Oh, wow. There's one in here. Some eggs here. 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 And here. I'm going to wait till she finishes. Cause I don't want her to jump out on me but I'm gonna go on and get these in and get these wiped up thank you so much for joining me guys don't forget I've got some pictures that I'm going to share with you guys toward the end of this video thank you so much God bless bye bye